beer can. Give me some beer can, man. I'm basically Jamaican. Hello one and all, and welcome to Seeing Through Glass and welcome to the latest episode of My Next Daily. Now hopefully you all saw that on Sunday I revealed my manual Ferrari 360. However, that means I really need to step up the hunt for My Next Daily. So sadly at the end of this week, the Little Abarth 695 Proposto will officially be going up for sale. If you are interested in the car, if you have any inquiries, please contact Tony from Gravelwood Car Sales. All of his information is in the description below. Today I've enlisted the help of an old friend, Lenny the Geezer. Now Lenny owns a VW Golf R, a car that is proving to be very popular on social media. So I asked if Lenny could come into London, we could go for a drive together, he could tell me the pros and cons of the Golf R and we could discuss whether it could be the perfect next daily. Oh please don't let this be Lenny. Oh. <laughs> what? Sad. Good to see you anyway, bro. <laughs> see you, mate. Awesome to see you. Right. Yeah, right. Um, what have you turned up in? I thought you were bringing the Golf R. Well, look, thinking about it, this is about your new daily car, isn't it? This is about your new daily. And do I want you driving the same car as me? Absolutely not. So I'm not <laughs> going to try and convince you how amazing the Golf R is. <laughs> so, for the second time, I'm trying to bring you into the transit. Now this is no ordinary transit. This is an R spec. An R spec. R, not an R spec. An R spec. <laughs> is there right? such a thing as an R spec? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's, that's um, like, <laughs> today we're doing we're gym doing an R spec. R spec. So one of fifty. Oh, because, oh, yeah, blue, blue. One of fifty. One of fifty. It's limited. This is the first one. You're in like the first. Well, I mean, it's, that's more limited than what? This is investment La Ferrari, opportunity. Uh, Bugatti Chiron. I mean, this is this is ultimate hyper. -band. You've got me listening now. Now. Are you ready for this? Go on. That's the reaction I wanted. It sounds like a Mustang. No, that's... <laughs> what is this? What engine's in this? Just a normal transit engine. No. But it's 215 brake horsepower, but that is an audio active exhaust. Uh, okay, so it's not real. Oh, no, it's not real. <laughs> but it sounds cool. <laughs> sounds it amazing. sounds cool, doesn't it? In a van. I know. So I feel like we're like an 800 horsepower muscle car. This turns heads. Turns heads. Turns heads, geez. Not good for getaway driving, though, is it? Because you can't be very subtle. Just show you something. Let me just show you something. So when you are creeping away from somewhere, that you're, yeah. somewhere that you're not meant to be. So, right. are you ready for this? Okay. <laughs> this van was built for you. Technology. Literally built Look, for you. And so then when the you... volume of the exhaust. Oh. <laughs> oh. I love this yeah. van. I love this you van. You know what? I kind of love it. Can we go for a drive? We'll go for a drive, yeah? Yeah. Um, Honestly, you, I mean, you, you're genuinely, I'm genuinely excited. I'm like, really excited about this. <laughs> but when you put up, I was like, oh, for God's sake, Lenny, like, just again. For once. Turn up in what I asked but, you to turn you up know, in. You know, I just wanted to show. I mean, the last one was cool. The last, like, that MSRT, that was that was cool. This, this is, a, is a limited edition R spec, Sparco racing seats. The seats. 356 are, mil bed. Like I know. It's, it's just. Come yeah? on, come, right, come on, on, let's do it. Let's, right, go, for, okay. let's go for a let's go, let's go and embarrass some Ferraris. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not going to do that, but we can at least rev some traffic lights. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It is, I mean, you sit up high. It's just nice. It's and also, just... you know what? I feel like through you and your education, I, I like, I'm ready for a transit. Like, I don't think people will be surprised if I turned up and I got out of a transit. They'd be like, ah, oh, that makes sense. Well, Look, I mean, you, you came to see me at Urban, didn't you? Yes. Talking about Range Rovers and stuff did, like that. I did, which was for my dad, but funnily enough, I did this test drive for the Velar. How did you, like, you find you, it? Are you doing a Velar? Yeah, well, of course we're doing a Velar. You're doing a Velar? Yeah, we're doing a Velar. A couple of months' time, we'll have a, um, a kit out for the Velar. But my point being, do you remember ringing me afterwards and saying, Lenny, I love the Urban Range Rovers, I really think they're amazing, blah, blah. And I said to you, what did I say? I don't think you're quite <laughs> cool enough for one you yet. Did. It was it was honestly one of the most depressing. I was like, you know, Lenny's a good friend now. I feel like over time I've like earned his respect, you know, like now I'm more street 
through your education, like you're Yoda and I'm Luke Skywalker. But it turned out on that phone call that I wasn't Luke Skywalker, I was Princess Leia. And you were <laughs> madly, madly disappointed with everything I'd ever done. I was like, oh. I just, I just think you're not there yet. I don't think you're there yet. However, a transit might get you there. Yes. Do you know what I mean? It might, it might turn you into a, a man. A, a man. A, and also, like, I got room for the lads in the back. And my. How, how are you getting on with the whole all right, treat all? Hey, doing that sort of that sort of vibe. I still struggle with it. I Do you? Yeah, yeah. It's like Sunday. Like it just feels aggressive. Like look at this guy. Well, do you know what? It's a beautiful, morning. Beautiful morning. morning. Yeah, see, yeah, see, he loved he it. He back, but you know. But I went. Oh, that's a dude, isn't it? Actually? I think if you were in a bright green Lamborghini Huracan, though, he'd be like. But in a transit, it's a, it's more it's friendly. It's the everyday superhero. See, with the whole vehicle. Harvey Weinstein thing, I feel like <laughs> shouting aggressively at women. All right, it's not a good like, thing to no, do at the moment, like, is it? It's like crossing a line a little bit. So turning right onto Tur Sloane Street. Yes. Now, in a van. Do you think all the supercar spotters will be amazed by this? I mean, li it's got a presence, honestly. See, so look, like, taxi black cab. Yeah. That was Let he was a red light. We didn't let you in. That was a red light. <laughs> right. I thought, it, I thought he was just being extra nice because we were in one of the best transits in the in the world. But do you know what? The exhaust makes this. Oh, look at this! Look at all oh. the VW camper vans. Yeah, that's cool. But do we like that? Yeah, we love camper vans. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Cool. Well, How could you right. hate a? I mean, no, no, no. But like, got, they've actually got a really nice <laughs> smiley face, haven't they? How could you hate a camper van? But last time I was like, oh yeah, you know, a, a Renault Traffic is a perfectly good van, and you were like, you looked at me like I murdered your mum. A Renault what? Okay, so if you don't know this, if you missed any of the previous Lenny Geezer videos, Lenny only recognises Ford Transit as Vans. There's no other make, apparently. And also, I had to learn how to say Transit, which is why I still pronounce it that way, because I don't know how to say it. Backbone, without... backbone of Britain. Yeah. Backbone of Britain, Ford Transit. You know, do you know how to speak Jamaican? Simplest technique. Beer can. Bacon. Beer can! So it's the same, I use the same technique with Transit. Otherwise, I can't say it. I'm being a can. No? I mean, how many videos have we done together now? Too many. Which is and why I thought it, we were close. And instead of instead of you sort of progressing, it's almost as if you disappoint me more and more each time. Well, beer can. Beer can. Give me some beer can, man. I'm basically Jamaican. Okay, so let's be serious for two seconds. Okay. Because I'm genuinely quite enjoying this, but. Let's come back to whether I'm actually going to consider getting a van for a daily. So you wanted me to bring the golf up. Yes, that's what I. That's why you're supposed to be here. Right, you're okay. supposed to be helping give okay. me advice for so the, my next daily series. My, let me ta let me tell you how amazing my golf R is. So I got it on the first September, okay. brand new, sixty seven okay. reg. It's the Mark seven point five facelift. I got it in black, black alloys, black leather, black just on black, black on black on black. black, on black. It okay. is, and you know how much I love my last one, the Lepis Blue. You one, did, yeah. Right? You never stopped this. About it. This does that. Everything a little bit better. Really? Honestly, mate. I, and you know, all joking aside, and I know we have a bit of banter. That car is absolutely amazing. Because you know what? I, I, on social media, the amount of people going, it's got a bit of pull this, doesn't it? it yeah. We'll come back to the come back to that. Yeah. Um, the amount of people going, oh, consider the Golf R. Look at the Golf R. Think about a Golf R because it seems accessible. Yeah. But it also seems super usable. Yeah. And I mean, you've probably read a few reviews on the Mevo magazine, course, all five course. star and stuff like that, but it does everything so well. If you just want to sit back and chill, it does that. If you want to give it an absolutely a massive blast down the B roads, it does that very well. And the thing is, the handling is so good. I mean, I like to think I can drive, yeah. but I, I bottle it before the car oh, does. He didn't let me out. He didn't let me out. Yeah. Do, do we go after it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Get on! Have you said? You know, that's good. That was good. Okay, the, the, the thought been, was there. The, the thought was there. It's not, it doesn't, not as effective in the Biposto. No. Maybe why this would be a little yellow car. Yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to tell you. Um, um, okay, but, but what are the cons? There must be some negatives. All cars have negatives. Think like, because for me, for me, the interior quality is the that. That's the one thing. When I when I said to people that I was going to be getting another Golf R, yeah. the first thing people would say is, why don't you get the S3? Yes. And the interior, yeah, it is a little bit more luxurious in an S3. It may be a little bit better quality, but you're paying about five or six grand more for that, fair, and I, I couldn't fair. really warrant it. Plus, um, you know, the, the Golf is just a, 
I don't know. I just, I just, I, I've I just spent the it. last year in a bloody a bath, which has got you know pieces from a ten-year-old Fiat in it. So yeah. I mean, I, I, it's not that I can't handle low quality. Are we doing a twat lap round Harrods? Let, I've got Let's, do twat Let's do it. Let's do it. There, there's no other cons. You can't think of any other negatives with the golf. The only, the only thing uh, for some people, not for me, I don't mind it, but for some people, for, for a, a 310 brake horsepower hot hatch, yeah, the styling might be a little bit too subtle for some people. But okay. I actually quite like that. And it's classless. Yeah, it, you completely. Know, because for me. It's very important, you know. I'm a man from the street, yeah, and you know I need to be regarded as a man from the street, right? Okay. And the golf R fits with my humble exactly upbringing. Yes, um, um, so I'm glad you agree with me there. Do you know what? That that's the only negative for the golf R. If you do want a hot hatch, some people like big spoilers and vents and stuff okay. like that. For me, I love that it's so subtle. Sure, uh, no, but, I see the appeal. Like, I just don't know. If, I, it doesn't. As much as people are recommending it. It doesn't feel very me. It's not. I don't think it is you. No. I don't think it is you. But I love it. It's for okay. me. It's okay. for me. So, so what? What are you thinking about the transit van then? I'm such a big fan. <laughs> like honestly, like I, this is slightly you, worrying. You got, you got power supply there yeah. for my laptop, so I can edit. Exactly. I got yeah. room in the back for my kit. It sounds good. It's big. Like it's but ah. Uh, it is slightly worrying me how much you do like it now, I, though, because I, it, this is sort of this may be backfiring really? on me. No, but I, honestly, like this because is Because at so first, cool. this was meant to be a bit of a joke. Oh, I'll take him another transit. No, but I genuinely really like it. And I, as I say, it's it's a different side of YouTube. Who else is doing vans? No one does vans. No, no one does vans. No one does vans. And, does vans. And, you know, imagine if you were a builder, right? Yeah. Got a job coming up, lads. Let's get a new van. <laughs> Google best vans on YouTube. Up I come. Hello. <laughs> Let me tell you about one of the best Ford Transit So do you, think, do you think the everyday geezer, the plaster yeah. and the builder, the roofer... He will associate roofer, with me. They're going to look at you and think, this, this is a guy that knows work vans. You really think that's going to happen? Do you think my like to dislike ratio might take wow. a flip Wow, okay. <laughs> right, I think we need to reevaluate that. Yeah, that's a good point. That is a good point. I mean... I really like this. It's cool though, isn't it? But it's, yeah, it's, I mean, it's not, oh, you know what? You haven't been very helpful, if I'm honest. <laughs> you told me that I'm not cool enough for an urban yet. That the Golf R, I think we both agree. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. He loves it, doesn't he? He's got a ladder on his roof, that's why. Yeah, yeah. He's got a bloody ladder. He right, loves mate. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he goes, look. But, what do you reckon, mate? What do you reckon? Pretty it's the good, bollocks, isn't it? Pretty good. Yeah. We're just doing a little review of it. He's too posh for it, you see. <laughs> I'm but you're, learning. you're a man I'm with a ladder on, on, your, on your car, so you know what you're talking about. <laughs> see, he knows. He knows. <laughs> see, I don't know how to talk to people. You don't do no, that. Okay. No, good, you're good, scared. Good good lock your door just in case. <laughs> <laughs> lock, your, lock your door. <laughs> <laughs> so you haven't been very helpful. We've got. We've. We've done. So you're not. You're not quite cool enough for an urban automotive no, range driver because the, they are the ultimate. In uh, cool. Ultimate. We've. Um, uh, we agree that the Golf R isn't quite me. It's not quite. I you. probably will drive one. Not I think on you video, should. But just. To, I think you should just to enjoy it. Yeah. Um. And the, the Transit M Sport is kind of backfiring really because <laughs> I, I bought it as another. How bit much of a, are these? How much are, do we know? I think is starting on this one. I think starting from about thirty-six grand. Okay. Uh, with like, with a few little okay. options and stuff. I mean, there's there's extras to to be had. I think. But um. Yeah. Thirty-six. I could park the bath in the back of this. You could, you could, yeah. I mean, right, okay. Right, so, food like, so, for Thor, Lenny, food for Thor. So are you ready? I mean, we haven't actually put our foot down yet. Oh, are you, yeah, are you ready for this? Yeah, yeah, go on. <laughs> I mean, it's just... In a van. In a van. In a van. That is actual pull. 215 like, brake horsepower, Steinbauer power box, an intercooler, um, and a few other little bits and pieces, and it's, yeah, 215 brake. Because the last video we did, yeah. everyone was going on about how it looked quite cool, and it was a body kit and blah, 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 but uh, it was completely standard. Yeah. So they've done a few little done tweaks. A few bits and actually... six pot calipers on a Ford Transit, look. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, this is, this is cool. Yeah. The, but let's, I mean, am I gonna buy the, Probably, You're probably, probably not. not. You're probably not, not either. But it just, what brings me back to my point of you being incredibly unhelpful. Yeah, today. sorry, mate. It's a bit of a waste like of a, your Sunday morning, really. Isn't I start it? off this video going, oh, you know, the 360's out now, which means I'm willing to step up the hunt. I've got to get something quick. Yeah. Let's get Lenny involved. Let's see if he can help me. And you just made it worse. I'm now considering a van. Things have really got to, to, to pop. Right. Okay. So. <laughs> Take me back to the Biposto. Right. So whilst I very much appreciate you, Lenny, bringing this van. To our my next daily recap, Van Bagini. Van. 
<laughs> this this actually is a van it's a van yeah anyway i'll leave you in your natural habitat there and <laughs> sign off i hope you guys have enjoyed this kind of update as we've figured out lenny's been incredibly unhelpful so my <laughs> hunt for daily continues give the video a thumbs up if you liked it make sure to follow lenny on instagram his link is below make sure to subscribe for plenty more videos to come